Okay, welcome back to Resident Evil 4, everybody. Now, in the last episode, um, huh, that was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't that fun? We, uh, fought the two big boys, and we literally have nothing to show for ourselves, apart from, I mean, I was going to say we have nothing to show for ourselves. We survived, and, you know, that that's pretty fun, right? I mean, at least we kind of survived. Uh, we have four shotgun shells left. We have an absolute metric fuck ton of sniper ammo that we're not going to get to use. Uh, everything else is empty. So, let's keep going. The cavern awaits. Uh, now, I would say that our arduous journey is almost over, but... <laughs> yes, well, things are going to get a little bit worse before they get better. That's for sure. I mean, we still have the nuclear option, but, you know, once that's used, that's kind of used. We did pick everything up here, didn't we? Uh, there was only a couple of little bits and bobs. Yes. Yes, I think we had. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Come hither. Oh, man, an incendiary grenade and some shotgun shells. Well, it's not going to, you know, save us. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, now, I remember last time we were here, before, we had issues here. And that is because this place is absolutely stuffed to the gills with bugs. Bugs. Everywhere bugs. Uh, there's also a nice delicious herb over there. Hey bugs, can we like aggro some of you guys? We can. And let's lure them in to the tunnel. <sighs> Maybe. Are they not stupid bugs? They're not stu. Oh god, look how many there is. Come on, stupid bugs, follow me into the tunnel, please. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Now, hopefully... Oh, really? They're just dropping money. Ooh. I appreciate you dropping money. I do. Okay. Right. Can you fly, please? I want you to fly. When you fly, you're more vulnerable. Bastard. Utter... Bastard, you piece of shit. Yeah, notice when they fly, that would have been an instant one hit kill. Oh, that spread. That spread. They're so much stronger when they're not flying. They have like a 300% weakness. Oh god. They have, yeah, 300% weakness when they're actually flying in the air. Which is cool. Oh, that's just a grenade. I mean... Grenades are cool. They are. But... Oh, fuck. Get off me, you ugly, puking bastard. Right, we're empty. So hopefully, this dude... No, he's dropping money. What's with all the money, dude? You should have kicked. Why didn't you kick? E kicks. Um, I guess this is going rather poorly. Uh, hi guys. Can we, can we talk about this, please? Uh, we're not going to be able to talk about this, are we? Is it worth spending a nade? Is a nade actually going to do anything? Maybe? No? Yeah, grenade damage in this game is a little bit odd, I guess. We'll just use the nuclear option. Uh, maybe, maybe we can find some ammo. Uh, maybe, oh, flash grenades. Can't remember if flash grenades kill these guys in one hit. I think they do. Which is good. Should we risk it for a biscuit? 
No. I thought flash grenades actually killed those guys in one hit. Now, also, I don't know how to shake those off without getting hit. It doesn't seem to be possible. Really? It doesn't matter how fast or how slowly I move the uh, mouse. Look at that. Two shots straight to the face. Didn't kill him. Whereas one glancing shot when they're flying kills them. Isn't it weird? I find it very strange. Oh, he's just having a bit of fun with himself. That's okay. He can he can enjoy himself. That's all right. We we don't mind. Ah, uh, it's a switch of some kind. Yes, let's push the switch. Why not? Gee, that was a questionable idea. I mean, we had no choice. But still a questionable idea. And wow. Wow, this gun. This gun really does nothing. At all, does it? Have we reached the point where the handgun is literally useless? Yeah. Oh, God. I think we have reached the point where the handgun is absolutely useless. And of course, there's no quick combine in this game. Can't quickly combine stuff into the inventory. And they're stun locking me, because of course they are. Oh. Alright, he's dead. Another green herb. Oh god, can you fuck off? I get like a little bit of distance, please. And we're empty as well. And now he's landed. So he has 300% more health. Why that's a thing? Why they're a lot stronger when they're on the ground? I don't know. It literally makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, it's a very questionable game design choice uh, very questionable game uh, we're gonna miss it we're gonna miss it nope we got it just in time also having items disappear is uh, another game choice that I don't like you know there's actually a lot about this game I don't like anyway let's keep going let's keep going any goodies. There's a red herb there, which we, yeah, is useless to us. Look at all these dudes. We hit them off in the distance. We can one hit kill them, which is nice. Luckily, Come on, come fly at me. No, nope, you're just gonna <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. He's gonna bug out. Get it? See what I did there? Ah, oh, shit. Sadly. Oh, no, we got reload. Right, let's just run and hopefully get some gear. That stuff down here is going to disappear before, if we're quick, we can make ourselves up. Hey, we've got the blue eye. Nice. <sighs> okay. We really needed that. We really needed that. Needed to kill these two, too. We do have more bullets. Oh, God. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Now, then, there probably is a way where you can manipulate them to just take to the sky. 
but it's not a tactic that I know about. Okay, more herbs. Uh, I would say ammo's looking a little bit better, but I'd be lying to you. I mean, it's a thing. Alright, push the switch, and we're gonna get attacked. Probably. Most likely. Now that is a seriously fucking strong blast of light. Here they come. Come on. Right, you can get fucked. Oh, your hitboxes. Oh, okay. Yep, getting fucked over. Either need to reload. Ow. Right, let's take you out with a knife. Okay, I thought we could actually stun him a little bit there with a knife, but no, we can't. It is a false sense of security. Oof, knife. Got another flyer. Oh, the mouse aiming! It's fucking horrible. It really is. Apparently you can go into any file somewhere and turn off mouse acceleration. Don't actually think there's any. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's no actual option for mouse acceleration. Which is really annoying. You have to go into the actual any files on the game to change that. Which really isn't okay. Right, he's dead. Got some more bullets. More bullets is good. We like bullets. Oh, God. Might as well have just fucking taken him on normally. Let's try that again. God, you have to squint until you can see the actual aiming reticle. Okay. Unfortunately, Chris has Parkinson's as well. Which I've never noticed to be a problem in this game. You know, um... Reaver of Jewel Sandwiches uh, would mention about how awful Leon's aiming is. I think I called him Chris a minute ago. We mentioned how just off the aiming is. And it's not too bad when you're fighting at, you know, decent distances. But when you're fighting from a long way away, which I've noticed in this cave system, he really... That's with me not touching the mouse. He really does have Parkinson's. I definitely made the aiming significantly better in Remake 2 and 3. Mainly because, you know, where the cursor was was dead on exactly where you hit the bu where the bullet would hit. Uh, right. Okay. What did we come out of that? We've got 25 bullets. Not going to use those. We got some herbs. I guess we'll use one. Um. Mhm. Mm nice to get some shotgun shells. Pretty sure we have everything from here. Why is? What is the map? Why is map not working? Why does my... There we go. That was incredibly weird. The map button was bringing up the inventory. 
Don't ask. You know, I watch uh, a guy called Bork Soup. I think that's what he's called. I haven't watched him for a very long time. I haven't actually watched YouTube for a very long time. But he's a Resident Evil speedrunner. And he always says he won't run Resident Evil 4 just because how shoddy the Resident Evil 4 port is on the PC. And after actually playing it for the first time, yeah, it, it's it got a lot of problems. It's definitely not great. Yeah, we've had button glitches, we've had controllers not working, we've, you know, we've had a lot of things not working. Now, luckily, I haven't had any of the crashes people complain about. Uh, right. Okay. Oof. So, give me that. And that will complete our treasure. Our wonderful treasure. Oh, we could also... And you have to get lucky to get that. Uh, it's a very rare drop. And I'm not 100% sure if that's a guaranteed drop anywhere in the game. You're supposed to get one from shooting the nest down. Or do you always get one from shooting the nest down? I can't remember now. But you get two of these. So you actually need two blue eye gems. And they're very, very rare. So... Yeah, I actually got reasonably lucky there. Um, quite happy about that. And we completed the crown as well. Okay, let's get out of here. That was very rough. Very rough. But I guess it is what it is. Let's continue. Now, luckily, we should be more or less back to standard enemies around here. Oh, we've got Merchant there, which is cool. Yeah, also getting stuttering as well, which on my PC really shouldn't be getting stuttering. I have noticed that. Right, letter from Ada. Once a plaga egg hatches, it's nearly impossible to remove it from the body. But if it is before it hatches, then it can be neutralized by medication. If it does hatch, you might be able to get it out by surgery before it turns into an adult. But it won't be easy. There's a high chance you won't survive the operation. Yay! As far as I know, the girl was injected with the egg before you. Her time is ticking. You should prepare yourself for the worst case scenario. Thanks, Ada. You are always a beacon of hope. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got for me, dude? Things on what are you I selling? bet you do. I bet you do. I'm going to sell the TMP ammo. Is Not going to sell the rifle it? ammo because I know it's Thank irritating you. people. Um, hang on. Ah. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Got Thank a lot you. of these green eyes now. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Pretty sure we can all? safely sell all this stuff now as <laughs> Thank well. Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank nice. You. Thirty-two thousand. Ooh, yum yum. Ah. <laughs> We've Thank got all my, well, we're going to have over a million potatoes. I've never had over a million potatoes in this game. <clears throat> but I think that's because I've played it on every other console, well, every other version of the game, basically, apart from this one. What are you buying? Uh, which, actually, in hindsight, is a mistake. Am I going to buy an FA spray? Uh, go on. Is that all? 
It's not an upgrade, is it? <laughs> Come back, right. Let's save. Yeah, so that, this is one thing that I'm quite excited about getting a stream deck for. I can use it as a... a I fucking hate that name. A Steam Deck. I can use it as a portable system and a games console because I can connect it to a TV. So I can play all my PC games, or at least most of my PC games, without actually um Right, we've got it, cool. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, so I can use it like a console and I can take it with me. So, you know, if I want to play this, because, you know, I'm only actually in, well, with my PC about two days of the week. So if there's anything on my PC that I want to play, I usually have to wait until uh, my day's off. Whereas I have all my consoles set up in other rooms. Because if I'm near my PC... I want to record <laughs> and I can't always do that because of time and depending on who's in the house and whatnot right and depending whether the missus has a migraine which having chronic migraine syndrome is basically all the time so I do lean on my consoles quite a lot this is a target rich environment but what i don't like doing is buying one game on xbox another game ooh another game on pc another game on playstation it would be nice to be able to use my steam library wherever i am very nice i got some more potatoes Ah, he's actually straight up dead. We're getting a lot of incendiary grenades here, which is good. Ah, now, we are going to have to fight our friend Krauser. Not for a while, but we are going to have to deal with him. Which is fine. We can hopefully pretty much use the knife on him. Pretty sure there's jewellery here. Right, yes. Sure there's a gem or something. Um could you wow, well, yeah. Potentially could use some of these flame nades, but I really want to start saving those because this game is going to get very, very difficult in the last few chapters. It really will. There is a couple of them, though, isn't there? Hmm. Alright, well, we're just going to have to do this one at a time, I guess. Dude. Did you really have to... Uh-oh. They're behind us, too. Are they? Sounds like they're behind us. I guess they're not quite behind us. Unless they are behind us in a roundabout kind of way. Alright, we've got some more shotgun shells. Yeah, we're getting that stuttering again. It's really bizarre. There we go. Yeah, this is essentially an Xbox 360 game. No way it should be stuttering on an NVMe SSD. With my hardware. I know my hardware's getting old. Well, graphics card is. There's no way to be having any issues with this. Okay, how are we doing? Not bad. Go for some headshots. Because headshots do more damage. Apparently, they do more damage. I'm not convinced, but then we have these peasant weapons. Excuse me. That's not how it goes down. Right, he's probably going to mutate. He is not going to mutate. 
He's going to mutate, which is problematic. Kind of problematic. God damn it. Is that a... what I think it is? That is what I think it is. I thought there was a gem around here. Alright. Oh, fucking last plague, bastard. Are you going to turn to? Yes, you are. I thought that head pop was a little bit too easy. Alright. Well, these head poppers really suck. They do an insane amount of damage. For very little reward from killing them. How are we doing? I mean, we've got some shotgun shells from the bargain, but yeah, that is all of our handgun ammo. Unless the uh, reload button's just decided to stop working. <sighs> now, this standard unupgraded shotgun, it's got to be said, it's actually only just better than useless. I mean, the handgun is essentially useless. So we need to offer a sacrifice to the lion. Why do I feel that there's more stuff here, though? I'm sure there's treasure here. There's the crank. My treasure sense. Oh, flash grenade. That will come in useful. Um, ugh, we've got to go underground, haven't we? Um, those potatoes will come in useful. There we go. I remember that. And we have a barrel. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Now we have a handful of bullets and a handful of shells. I would say it feels like survival horror, but I mean, no, not really. Okay. Okay. So. Ugh. Aha. Double tap. Grab those potatoes. And let's crank that. Oh, X is rotate. Of course it is. Alright, Leon. What time are we on? We're on 28 minutes. We might as well just go back and save it. To be honest. Go back to the merchant. Because I can't remember where the next save point is. And I feel like we actually got through that bit fairly well. Considering. Considering we're basically using, you know, a chocolate fucking dildo for a gun. Actually, no. You could do more damage with a dildo, I think. You really hit someone hard with a dildo. You could probably do a hell of a lot of damage. I mean, just look at um, Saints Row, for example. Hey, dude. Just need to use your typewriter again. Right. I'm going to drop a save there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to continue testing these ineffective weapons out on hard enemies. Well, they're not hard, but... <laughs> They're becoming hard due to ineffective weapons. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.